as you focus your mind on your breath, you're getting in touch with the most important thing in your life, which is your mind. Because the mind directs the whole rest of your life. So you're directing it to the breath to help it just settle down. Because when the mind settles down, then it can see clearly all around it what's right, what's wrong, where it should go, where it shouldn't go. So take some time where you don't have to think of any of your other responsibilities. Just think of what you're doing right here, right now, getting the mind to stay with the breath. Take an interest in the breath. Is it comfortable right now? Does it feel good? You can try longer breathing, shorter breathing, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, whatever feels best right now. But the important thing is to keep your mind focused here, in this direction. Don't let it wander off in other directions. In the Mangala Sutta, the Buddha talks about the different blessings that we give to ourselves. And one of them is having the mind rightly directed. It comes in a set of three, three blessings. Living in an appropriate country where it's possible to practice the Dharma, having made merit in the past. Both of those are things over which you may not have much control, but you realize, okay, you do live in a place where you can practice the Dharma, and you do have merit from the past. The question is, what are you going to do with that now that you have this opportunity? As the Buddha said, you've got to keep your mind rightly directed. And make sure it doesn't go wandering off into just kind of enjoying pleasures for, this, for their own sake without thinking about where you're going in the larger frame. There's some ways you can think to make sure that you've got your priorities straight. One of them is that reflection we have every, every now and then, the five day reflections. We're subject to birth, aging, illness, and death, separation, and we have our actions as our, as our support as our arbitrator. So given that the things of life are here for only such a short time, what are you going to do? Well, you want to make sure that your mind is well trained and you're heading in the right direction. Keeping in mind the fact that the things that you hold on to in daily life, they're going to have to leave you. As first as you get sick, then as you get old, and finally when you die, you have to give them up completely. And what are you going to have then? Well, as the reflection says, you have your actions. Good actions, actions that are not so good. So try to focus on what actions would be really useful for you and for the people around you. Because those are the good kinds of actions to take with you. Keep your mind focused in that direction, directed in that way, and it becomes rightly directed. Otherwise it wanders off like someone with a compass whose needle keeps grazing back and forth. We're not really sure where you're going. You come to the monastery some, and then you go off someplace else and you think about other things. You forget all about the Dharma, and then you come back, and you've got the mind rightly directed for some time, but a lot of times it's directed someplace else. You want to ask yourself, what kind of karma are you collecting as you wander around like this? Now, where is it going to take you? At the very least, you want to make sure that you maintain your human status, so you come back and do more good. Go to a higher status, so you can do even more good. But it all depends on your actions. It depends on keeping your mind rightly directed. That you want to say, I want to find an end to suffering. I've been causing all too much suffering for myself and for other people. I've been wandering on for who knows how many lifetimes. Maybe it could be a good thing to learn how to stop. Find the bliss that the Buddha guarantees it really is bliss. Because a lot of us are afraid of nirvana. It sounds kind of unfriendly and alien. But he says, as long as you think that nirvana is a place you wouldn't want to go, you have wrong view. So you've got to learn how to work on your views, realizing that that really is peace, that really is the place you want to go. And then ask yourself, how am I going to get there? Well, by focusing on what you're doing and saying and thinking and make sure it's skillful, make sure it's headed in the right direction. So keep your mind rightly directed. You've got this opportunity, you've got the merit that you've met with the Buddhist teachings. It's a rare opportunity, so make the most of it.